I found out about this program through my science teacher. She just came up to me with a flyer like, no show, but you have to apply to this. And then I see Albert Einstein and I was like, whoa, Einstein, that sounds like a program for very smart people. She's like, you're smart, so yeah, go ahead, apply. <laughs> The Beyond Albert program is a high school research program that is sponsored through the Montefiore Einstein Cancer Center. It's focused for Bronx students that normally wouldn't have opportunities to like even know what research looks like or like know that research is something that they can go for in the future. We want students who are curious, curious about science, curious about research, curious about the natural world. You don't have to be the valedictorian of your class to apply. I have been incredibly fortunate to recruit Christina Ames to run the program. So she has training as a scientist, and she also has a very strong background in education. When students first come to me, they are afraid of speaking up, they're afraid of asking questions. We all were in this together. The, from the first day, everyone was confused about what's going on, but Christina was uh, with all of the students from the very beginning. If we ever need anything, like I say, anything, she can provide that for us. We pair each student with a research mentor who is either a graduate student in their lab or postdoctoral fellow and then they also have mentorship from the professor in whose lab they do research. Well, when I first started in the lab, my mentor, Valeria, she was there with me, teaching me, and then when I made a mistake, she told me, oh, this is how you do it, and she just kept waiting until I actually got it right. So Dr. Stengel actually got to work quite a bit with me. Any question, any interest I had, she would be there to explain. It's kind of like a reflection of like what I could be like. Yeah, it was super great. The students themselves actually run the experiments. They analyze the data. Science works as a team project. That's a big team project. And we including them in these team projects from this early age. So as part of the program, we give our students opportunities to present their research. We teach them how to approach different audiences, how to speak to somebody who doesn't know about science. This year, we went to the American Museum of Natural History. Students had an opportunity to see 200 other students who were presenting their research. During their presentations, the students were shining stars of confidence. They were advertising what science is. That is the greatest gift we can have as scientists from them because they are giving their knowledge now to the public. I feel like this program helped me become a lot more comfortable with speaking to others. And that's a skill that I'm gonna pretty much need for the rest of my life. When I was growing up, I didn't have this opportunity, and I think a lot of the scientists who work with this program didn't have this opportunity. And that is our way of helping these students have what we wish we had when we were their age. I would say that I owe it to this program to introducing me to what a Korean research is like, because now I can undoubtedly say that this is a career that I definitely want to pursue. The fact that I can somehow aid in cancer research is a pretty big deal. Even if I'm not like playing a direct hand in helping out these people, somehow, some way, like I'm making a tiny step, a tiny, tiny bit of progress that'll, you know, keep adding up and adding up and adding up like, by other people as well as me, and like finding cures and finding different ways to help people in the future. Now I have a path, I have an actual path carved out for me with people helping me along the way. It makes me feel better about my situation and inspires me to do better. 
from the first day till now, I think I've changed quite a lot. The first day, I was not confident at all and I was about to give up. But today, I think that you should never give up. I'm very proud of myself, I would say. My home has always been the Bronx and it'll continue to be the Bronx. So I'm really glad that Beyond Albert gives me the opportunity to learn here and work here and eventually give back to the place that I've always called my home.